Hi, I'm back. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about my previous bike. That's right, the Collector C1 is no longer in my possession. I do not have the Collector C1 anymore. I do not own it anymore. Uh, but I have given it to Luke, so he owns it. This is kind of like a, kind of, not a goodbye video to the bike or anything. It's just like, because the bike has a lot of meaning to me and to this YouTube channel. And that's why I'm making a video on it. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be giving you guys a story time. I'm going to be telling you guys on how I first got the bike and like rode it, why I got it and just everything really so i got the bike for two reasons now i used to live on uh, a very big hill and I, my school used to be at the bottom of that hill and i used to be late to school like every single day one day i decided to start riding um my bike down and at the time i had like a black and white bike i also had a red bike but they were both very, very heavy, and I couldn't do tricks on them. So, I ditched both of them. Oh, and also they didn't have brakes, which I needed. I started watching Ryan Taylor at that time, and he was um, thinking of starting up a bike company, and me and Luke uh, really liked watching his content, the in and out challenges, just watching him do crazy stuff at the skate park. It was great. And that's one reason why I wanted to get a C1. And it's one reason we started the YouTube channel up because Luke knew I was getting a new bike and we both like Ryan Taylor's content and we wanted to do BMX videos. So that was no better opportunity to be honest. So. That's when I got the C1. That's the reason why. Let me tell you about the first time I ever rode the bike. The first time I ever got the bike was on the 25th of December. We built the bike up. Luke literally woke me up. I woke up, he woke me up. He knocked on my door at like 12, saying, Bill, your package has come. Oh, oh shit, shit, let me get up. We built it up in the kitchen. And later that day, we took it out for a ride. And oh my God. The bike was the first ever time I rode that bike. I had never ridden anything so light in my life. And you gotta remember, the bikes I was previously riding were really, really freaking heavy. I mean, I'm I'm gonna say they were like 32 pounds. I'm not even joking, they were heavy bikes. So getting on this light, sleek, 25 pound like bike, it was freaking amazing. I remember Luke doing his first bunny hop on that thing. He freaking flew. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. So we absolutely bombed it down the hill. We lived on a very steep hill, don't, don't forget. My school is like near the bottom of the hill. Like it's not as steep as going the main way down. We went the main way down. And I'm telling you, we must have hit like 70 miles apart hour i'm not even joking a another disclaimer i'm not really allowed to say what we were doing but i'm a i'll tell you guys in the future but for the sake of being told off i'm just gonna say that we went to a sketchy area which we did so anyway the reason we took it out we went to a sketchy area basically the whole premise of the uh this story is that we were at this place and basically um, it, it wasn't that we weren't supposed to be that like we, we weren't kind of but like it was kind of more like We were standing in the middle of a street very late at night And we couldn't really have any cop ask us about what we were doing So we were kind of just out in the middle of the street in the middle of the night hoping that a no cop car goes past But you'll never guess what happened Freaking cop car pulled up, didn't he? Well, he didn't really pull up. He just kind of flew past with his lights on and we got shit scared. And correct me if I'm right or wrong, Luke, but wrong, the fuck's sake. I think he actually stopped not too far away from us. So literally, we went as fast as we could around the back of this sketchy area and we kind of just waited it out and, uh, you know, we left and like, it doesn't really sound that exciting. Like we literally went to a place late at night, stood out in the middle of a street for a few minutes, went around the back of a place and then came back out, waited a, f a few more minutes and left. It's, it doesn't sound that exciting, does it? But I assure you 
One day I'll tell the full story. Anyway, let's just get on to the next story. Okay, so the second story is, well, where the bike gets the name Rusty. Now, if you don't, for those of you who don't know, I called the C1 Rusty. I gave it the name. It's called Rusty. And the reason it got that name really is because basically um, the second night we took it out, uh, we got it both our bikes sturdy, me and Luke, and Luke thought it was a good idea to go to the jet wash and spray our bikes. In hindsight, it wasn't that great of an idea. But to be fair, the next morning when I looked at my bike, it was rusty as hell. But when I looked at Luke's bike, it wasn't rusty at all. And it did say, before, like in the description for the C1, it does say that it has a raw industrial paint look, which I'm not too sure if it's fake, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, story number three. And this, I'd probably say is the most exciting story. So this is where the bike got its dent from. Now, some of you might not know this, but my bike actually does have a quite a big dent on the bottom of it. And this is how I got that dent. Now, it was 2017 in March, and if you guys remember, it was snowing. And as I've previously mentioned, we lived on a very steep hill. And the way I used to get to school, I used to take a shortcut. Instead of going straight down the hill, I used to go down, take a left and like up a bit. And then and then there was like a bike, a bicycle lane. It was kind of like a chicane. It was, it was like an S-shaped path, but with bollards, um, like, one in front of the other. So, imagine that, okay? Now, I was late for school, and it was snowing. And let me just say, a few, I, I did slide out on the ice a few times before this day happened. But, <laughs> you, you can imagine where this is going. So, I was late for school, it was snowing, and I was going very fast down this hill, very tight curvy hill okay very fast late for school so i slammed as hard as i could on that back brake and anyone knows who has a back brake on a bmx or any bike if you slam on the back brake going really fast down a hill all you're gonna do is slide your back tire is just gonna slide about like a freaking snake so literally i freaking was going way too fast and I thought it was a great idea just to, it was the only break I had. I only had a back break. So I slammed that shit as hard as I could and freaking Tokyo drifted my way around this freaking chicane. It was something out of Tokyo drift. Like literally, I felt like a freaking god when I did this. It felt amazing. But then literally sliding on ice, sliding on ice around this S bend and I cleared it. I cleared all the bollards, but then there was one more bollard left. And I literally, I was so happy about me going around all the other bollards around this tight, slippery, icy, freaking absolute mess. But this bollard, I was right in front of my leg and I was already going sideways. I was literally 90 degree angle, freaking my leg was lined up against that freaking pole and I knew I was going so fast because the back brake wasn't slowing me down. No, no, no. It was only helping me slide. I was going sideways towards this bollard and my leg was in front of it. I knew that my if I freaking hit my leg, I was going to break my leg and I wouldn't have been able to ride the bike anymore. So literally, I remember it so freaking clearly. I was going there at like probably like 10 miles per hour, I'm not even joking. And I remember just closing my eyes, squeezing on that back brake just a little bit harder one last time, just praying that my leg just doesn't get broken. And then I just remember it literally happened exactly like this, freaking <gasps> Holy shit, I'm alive, I'm alive. But anyway, literally, I opened my eyes, I looked down at my leg, I was like, holy shit, it didn't hit my leg. What has happened is that it was literally that freaking far away from the pole. And literally, I slid into the pole and left a big dent in my bike. But 
I was so glad I did, because if I hadn't, I would have had a broken leg and I wouldn't have been able to go to school that morning. Which may sound great, but don't forget, I wouldn't have been able to ride the bike for at least three months. So, literally, it was a sigh of relief and like, oh shit, I'm alive. And that's how I got my dent. Anyway, this kind of comes to my to the end of this video and like, what this video all really means. And that's that this bike is really special to me. Every single trick I know was learned on that bike. It helped me get to school on time. It was my getaway ride, you know? It helped me escape places, helped me get to places before being late, you know? It just, it, and it started this YouTube channel. The channel, the very channel you're watching right now started up because of this bike. If I hadn't have made that Collective C1 review in 2017, I would have never got the f fame I got and started this channel up. It just simply wouldn't have happened, but it did happen. And that's why I've got a lot to thank for this bike. And I know a lot of people hate me and the bike, but you gotta be honest, it was a bad bike. It was not a great bike. It, it just simply wasn't. But it was a special bike. And that's why I would like to announce this part of the video here that I officially have a brand new bike. Now, I know some of you might have already seen this in other videos. I've been teasing it a little bit, but here I'm fully going to show and review it. Well, not review it. I'm just gonna show you my new bike. Let's fucking do this. Hopefully we have lots more adventure with this bike. But anyway guys, this is kind of where the future of the channel is held now. But hopefully now I can do better tricks, make better content and uh... <laughs> that last one was a very key thing. But anyway guys, I did hope you enjoyed today's video. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe, notification bells on. And I will see you guys the next one. Peace. Just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives but they'll never take... Oh, sausages!